I can barely feel my feet. Well, now you have an excuse to go shoe shopping. Listen, the only shops that we have been in have been art supply stores, and none of them seem to have sold canvas that has the special mark on it. Wait a minute. We came all the way to Paris, and, and now you want to give up finding whoever did this painting? No, I don't. Why are you so touchy? Sorry. But you know, your painting is not the only reason we're here. I'm supposed to be working things out with Layla. I know that, and I'm sorry that she had to work all day. You know what? Maybe I should go shoe shopping until you're in a better mood. Wait, not yet. I just remember something. What? We're in Paris. Yeah? Damn it. Monsieur, can we get your best bottle of champagne, please? To us. And to never letting anyone make us doubt ourselves again. Mm. I will drink to that. Mm. How'd it get that far, Red? Clint, you played me like a like a fiddle. I can't believe I thought those texts came from you. I can't believe I thought you cheated on me. Even with Inez. When I was at her apartment, Eddie Ford was... Okay. Don't. I can't even think about right. what that bastard Shh, did to you. Stop. Stop. Let's just make a promise to each other right now. Mm -hmm. That we will never let anyone pull us apart again. You got it. What's he doing here? Why you wouldn't defend yourself after you were arrested. Now I know it's because you thought I killed Eddie. And you thought I did it. You shouldn't have tried to protect me. Forget all that, Mom. Okay, what we need to figure out is, if you didn't kill Eddie, and I didn't kill Eddie, how did that gun end up in our apartment? Whatever Eddie did, he did on his own. And you can't prove otherwise. Not with Eddie dead. Why? Because you killed him? You wish. Face it. You got nothing on me. And you never will. Oh. I saw that headline and I thought about you. Are you all right? Of course I'm all right. Why wouldn't I be all right? Hey, thanks for breakfast, Dad. It was great. Oh, was it really great? Yeah. Got two bites. That was your problem. Barely picked up your fork. <laughs> That's just sad sex. This is supposed to cheer everybody up. Nate's off the hook. Because your newspaper says so? Well, not only that, but my... my ravishingly beautiful Latina <laughs> shark of a lawyer-slash-wife. Got our client to admit he was innocent. Why aren't we celebrating? I don't understand. It ain't over till the judge says it's over, Todd. When the charges are officially dropped, then we can celebrate, right, Danny? Yeah. I mean, the Nate part would be incredible. It's just... Just what? If his mom goes to jail instead, Nate's not going to be too happy about that. None of his sons will be. Uh, you sure you don't want to go to the coffee shop instead? Are you kidding? I mean, I love the food here. Why, is there some reason you don't want to stay? How about I take you through the, uh, Musée d'Orsay? You know, maybe we'll see something there that'll trigger a clue about your portrait. Well, as much as I would love my own personal tour guide, I don't think anything is going to trigger a clue about this portrait. I don't think anything is going to unlock the secret to why Eli left this for me. One, 
to. Here we might as well stay. No reason not to. Hi, Star. How are you? Hi. Why don't you take a look in the new I'm gonna be right back. Okay. Hi. Hello. I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt. I, I just wanted to tell you thank you so much for everything you've been doing for Nate. Uh, is it true that he might get out tonight? Oh, uh, with a little luck on our side. But until we get the ruling, I can't make any promises. Oh, right. Of course. Um, well, what about, um, my mom? Do you know if they're gonna charge her with anything? Um, she's being held on suspicion. If that changes, I'll let you know. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. What's going on between you and that guy? Your father and I work things out. I'm home to stay. Just like that? I'm supposed to pretend everything's normal? He cheated on you. That's not what happened. You slept with your assistant, secretary, whatever you want to call it. You know what? That was a misunderstanding. I didn't misunderstand. I saw them. I was there. I know what you saw, but it wasn't what you thought. Now, Matthew, nothing happened, okay, because I put a stop to it. And things wouldn't have gotten as far as they did if I'd been in a clear mind. The hell is that supposed to mean? Or were you hypnotized or something? You were seeing Inez Salinger for a while. Yeah, so? Well, don't call me crazy, but I kind of assumed that seeing that she's been accused of murder might be a little unsettling. Well, at my stage of life, you learn that people are pretty much capable of doing anything. You think she did it? I'll let the jury decide that. Meanwhile, why don't you tell me why you're really here? Oh, well, okay. Uh, our new grandsons will need to be christened very soon, and I was hoping that you would co-host the event with Charlie and from with, with me. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. Count me in. As a matter of fact, I was just doing a little uh, work for those boys of ours. I, I got this trust fund set up. You got to start thinking ahead, you know. Clint. They're only a few days old. I don't think there's any big rush. Well, you want to be ready, you know. I want to have my affairs in order. Affairs in order? Oh, my goodness. People don't say that unless they're contemplating something dire. I just want to be prepared, you know, in case something should happen to me. Now you're scaring me. What do you think is going to happen to you? Someone put that gun in our apartment to set us up. But who? And were they trying to frame you or frame me? I'm not sure. Sounds like a lover boy wants a return engagement. How did you get in here? The door. It was unlocked. You gotta be more careful. I just hope that the truth comes out somehow and, and we can both get out of this and be free. I hate seeing you in here. You shouldn't be in here either. You're my sweet boy, but you're a little crazy. Getting yourself locked up just so you could keep me safe? Eddie made your life miserable. I didn't want you to have to pay any more than you already have. But it's okay for you. And you would have had to pay with the most important years of your life, Nate. And giving those years up for anyone, even me, it's wrong. But I love you with all my heart for being willing to do it. Je vous en prie, madame et monsieur, but uh, I wonder if that gentilhomme might perhaps be Monsieur Vega. Yeah, that's me. I'm Claude Calmar. Uh, the concierge at your hotel told me where I might find you. Uh, nice to meet you. This is uh, Blair Kramer. Hello. I would know that face anywhere. That is why when I saw Monsieur Vega's posting... I went online to an art website that's based here. He displayed a photograph of the painting Madame Mons in her hand. Anyone who knew its provenance was invited to come forward. Et voila, here I am. Your last ditch effort. Guess it paid off. So, did you pay this? No, 
monsieur. I did not paint that exquisite portrait. I am but a humble merchant. You have a gallery. Hmm. Arts and antiquities. Number 17, Rue de... Listen, if you want me to pronounce this, they'll probably kick me out of France. <laughs> Many paintings have come through my doors, but this one in particular kept me great company. Alas, I only had it a few weeks before I sold it in uh, April 2010. Do you remember who you sold it to? A lawyer from America. He said it reminded him of the woman he loved. Uh, would his name happen to be Elijah Clark? Let me see. Mais oui, c'est ça. That was the man. A very fine gentleman. Très gentil. Well, not so much, actually, but that's a very long story. That is Eli's signature. So now we just need to know the, the name of the artist. We couldn't really make it out on this portrait here. Do you know who it is? Do you, do you know the name? Who painted this? <sighs> Nothing happened with me and James. Right, so when he came over here and you looked like you got hit by a brick, that was just my head. Dad, give Star a break, okay? Just interested in what's going on in my daughter's lives. That's well, it's what... nothing that you need to know. Sorry, I can't help it. That's what dads do. Well, don't. Oh, I'd like to change the subject. How about that? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, excuse me. Saved by the bell. <clears throat> Hello? Yes, I'll hold. It's the judge's office. Are they letting Nate go? I know Valentine's Day is a long way off, but being on the planning committee, I just really don't want this dance to be a thing. Yeah. Um. Oh, gosh. Something happened. No, 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 no. Uh, we're going to go to the courthouse, hey? Um, judge wants to talk to Nate. Okay, well, is that good news or is that bad news? Uh, as soon as we know, we'll let you know. All right? Yeah, we'll tell Nate that I'm hoping for the best, okay? Yeah, I will. Okay. okay. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye. Just think, this time tomorrow your brother could be free. Yeah, I just wish I could say the same thing for my mom. Have a seat. <clears throat> Matthew. What happened between Inez and me? The details don't really matter. Is that what you think? The details don't matter? I, you know, I know this is confusing, but um, your father and I have made a decision to keep these details between the two of us. What is this, more secrets? We're asking you to trust us. And to respect the fact that we have our reasons for doing this. Fine, you want to treat me like a kid? Go ahead. Oh, come on, Matthew, where are you going? I have to stop at BE before school. No, you don't. What? You don't work there anymore. Plant, are you ill? Please tell me the truth. I'm as healthy as a horse. What's all this in case something happens to me business? Well, it's like Paul always used to say, hope for the best, but plan for the worst. Well, there's truth in that, isn't there? Because sometimes the worst does happen. You know, Nora said that Inez would be trouble. I guess she was right. Well, let's not take on other people's problems, all right? Not when we have so much to celebrate around here. So why don't you tell me what I can do for these christening plans, huh? Well, it's gonna be wonderful. I'm not sure yet uh, what you can do, but it's gonna be wonderful having the whole family together, you know, to welcome those beautiful children into the family. I really wish that Asa had been here to see that. Oh, he'd be grinning from ear to ear. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you and Bo will be there together to carry the Buchanan torch. That'll be nice to see.